My name's Chris, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the powerful all new Lifter LMS Course Builder. So what do I mean by Course Builder? If we look at a course, over here we can see that a course is comprised of lessons, and there's this whole syllabus structure. We can have quizzes, assignments. One of the things that makes Lifter LMS so powerful is the ability to create a course from one screen. I'm gonna show you how to do that now in the Lifter LMS Course Builder. So here's how to use the Course Builder. First thing you wanna do is go to the dashboard of your website. You can click on Courses right here. And over here, there's an Add Course link. You can also click Add Course here. And even up here, you can add a course as well. But I'll just click right here to add a new course. And I'll just give it a name. And I'm gonna go ahead and publish that. It's on this page of the course itself where we set up the pricing and access plans and all that. We cover that in a different video and training. I'm gonna show you how to use the course builder specifically in this video. So I'm gonna click launch course builder. And you can see this is a brand new course you have some sample uh, lessons loaded, the sample section, and you can start modifying and tweaking and building your entire course from one screen. Be sure to save changes as you go. It'll auto save. Uh, you can also just click the save button when it turns orange and there's unsaved changes. But the first thing we want to do is just give our course a section title. So we'll call this section introduction. And then let's say we wanna start working with our first lesson right here. We can give it a name. We'll call it welcome. And let's go add a video lesson to our course. So Lifter LMS works with any video service here in the embed field that provides something called OEmbed, which is almost all online video hosting providers. I'm just gonna grab this video off of YouTube and I'm gonna add that to my video lesson right here. So now we can actually go look at this lesson in the WordPress editor. You can see here where our video is here. And if I wanted to view that lesson, I could just click here and view my lesson. So you can see I have my welcome lesson, my syllabus is starting to build, but let's go back and keep working with the course builder. So I'm gonna click edit course and I'm gonna launch the course builder. And we can just keep titling our lessons. And so on. And you can see our syllabus is building out. We can add more sections over here. And let's say we wanna add more lessons. We can do that here. We can also do it from over here. So if I want to add a new section, I can also just click that button. It'll add it to the bottom. I can drag a lesson in and add it like this. I can also just click that button and I'll just add one more lesson here. And then let's just add another section. I'm just gonna click that. That adds another section to the bottom. Let's add three more lessons. So we have a nice nine lesson, three section course. I'm clicking save changes down there. And let's view our course on the front end. So if I click on view course, you can see my entire course is starting to come together. I have the structure of a nine lesson course. We can jump into that first lesson where we add a, added a video and that lesson is coming together. So let's jump back into the course builder. So now I'm gonna jump into some more detail of what we can do from the course builder screen. So I'm just gonna kind of take you on a tour from the top to the bottom of all the options here. You can edit the course page at any time by clicking here. And that's gonna take you back to the course page where you can set up your pricing and manually enroll students if you wanted to. 
do categories, put in a course description, and much more. But let's jump back into the course builder. We can view our course at any time by clicking here on the front end of the website. And then over here, we can add components to our course, more sections, more lessons. We can add an existing lesson. We can also collapse sections if it's getting a little overwhelming if you're building a giant course and you just want to work on one section at a time, you could do that. And you can also just expand all sections over there. We've got the save button and the exit as well down here. So jumping into the lesson area, you can see sometimes you need to find a course ID. If you're working with a short code, that's right here. You can edit an individual lesson by clicking on the edit button. You can view a lesson. So once you add a video, if you wanna check it out, it's right there. And you can also detach a lesson. And what that does is it just pulls this lesson out of this course, but it keeps the lesson in your lessons on your website. So if you wanna use it in a different course or something like that, you can also trash lessons. Um, just this navigation over here, um, you can actually move a lesson down to another section. So we moved it uh, down here. So it's in this section. Uh, and then I'm actually going to move it back up to where it was. All these, el these lessons are also draggable. So you can just kind of hover on the side and move lessons around if you need to. That's what these buttons do. You can also just move it down one spot if you want to by clicking that button. Or again, just dragging lessons around. So the settings is where a lot of detail and options are for individual lessons. So if we open that up, um, you can see we can add a video embed URL right here. If you're using our advanced videos add-on, you can require people to uh, watch the whole video, stop the video from playing. If they go to another website like Facebook and so on, there's a bunch of great video features including a netflix like experience you can enable on your courses using advanced videos uh, but if you're using the free version of lifter lms you can still use the video embed url same thing for embedding audios perhaps if you're doing language learning or something that's very audio focused we also have the ability to allow people to view the lesson uh, we call that a free lesson without being enrolled in the course. It's kind of good marketing. That way somebody can look at your course page, and if they're not logged in, they can still get a sample of the lesson content. Lifter LMS has drip content. This is a very popular feature in Lifter LMS. So if you want to drip your lessons and make them available uh, on a certain day or after a certain number of days since they enrolled in the course, you can set up the drip content settings over here. So that's the lesson settings. And then if we go to assignments, we can add an assignment. You will need the assignments add on by Lifter LMS for this to function, but we can create a new assignment. Maybe it's a task list, an essay, an upload, and uh, you can add like information before um, that kind of goes at the top of the assignment and add a video at the top of the assignment if you want. So that's what, how the assignment um, functionality works right here. Adding a quiz. Quizzes, quizzes are very popular with Lifter LMS. So you can create a quiz from this screen. Um, we'll create one question quiz real quick here. And... Um, We'll start with a multiple choice question. Uh, we'll do what is the best LMS? And we'll say um, option A, brand X, and lifter LMS. Lifter LMS is the correct option, so we're going to turn that green. And uh, you can even do results clarification where you can display a message if somebody gets the quiz uh, incorrect in the reporting so that they can learn. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes there. And now 
uh, we have a quiz available on this lesson. You can see over here, let me just close this. We have the, this now says edit quiz instead of add quiz. So we could come back and then keep adding more question types. The basic quiz questions are included in the free Lifter LMS plugin. Lifter LMS adds more value than any other solution in the learning management system space, including our free um, quiz system. You do get more advanced quiz question types if you're using our advanced quizzes add-on. Once you have that installed, you get all these other options as well. So that's how you add a quiz. You can see this video uh, notification is here, which just says that I have added a video to this lesson and that helps you keep keeps you organized as you start adding content and you start working through lots of course content um, and then we made this lesson free so let's look at which means it does not require enrollment so let's look at our course on the front end you can see here uh, we've got a free lesson it's here and uh, we added a task list assignment and a quiz here so just looking at the quiz real quick I'm going to start this quiz. What is the best LMS? It's Lifter LMS. And I'm going to complete that quiz. So you can see in just a couple minutes, I've already built out an entire course and added some a video and started building the quiz. And that is what makes the Lifter LMS course builder so powerful. And again, if you need to access it, all you have to do is just go into your course, you can edit it and launch the course builder. And it's all here ready for you to go. There's a lot of options in the settings. You can title your lessons. You can add videos here. Um, you can make them free, do prerequisites if you like, do the drip method and so on, add quizzes, assignments, and so much more. And the Lifter LMS Course Builder is a truly unique innovation, making it easy to build an entire online course from one screen on your WordPress website. I'm Chris Badgett from Lifter LMS, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.